Salutations, everyone! Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, the Lord of the Rings mod, Realms in Exile. We're not on the beta version for once. Um, I'm Lord Formant, and today we're going to play as Maglor. For those of you who don't know, he's the last of the Fenorians, which, considering he had seven bro uh, six brothers and a father when they all went to Middle-earth, and he's the only one left, you can imagine bad things happened. If you don't know the Cimmerillion, you have almost no understanding of this character's backstory. But the odds are he's probably the most powerful um, elder um, of the elves in Middle-earth at this time, if you were to rank by age and combat strength. Um, so, we're going to play as this guy. He's got some unique content. Um, and I won't spoil it for you, so you can enjoy it as we go forward. So, first thing... Let's get... Actually, we can't... We don't have anybody to assign to things. Um, we are really good at diplomacy, but we're going to be doing a lot of fighting, and we're going to need money. I'm going to start with martial skill. And uh, we can technically station a men-at-arms regiment. Not going to be the biggest difference here, but let's get going. Chaos begins um, at the start of the game. We are independent from Sirden, the major Noldor elf. Okay, the last son of Fanor. Once there were seven, now I'm the last. In the folly of youth, despair, love, and rage was an oath sworn, which drove us to our ruin. And you can read about that one. Um, to ill end, indeed, did all things, did come all things we began well. I will say no, say, I'm not saying no good was done, for good was done, yet good does not erase evil, even if good comes from it. It's actually a pretty profound statement. Anyway. Maglor has spent centuries wandering since he threw away the Cimmeral, and now he's on Himring, and he's come back to his people. So we have choices here. We can stay on Himring. We're not going to. I will remain secluded no more. The grace of the firstborn, yep, of course. Let's see what else we have to do. Galadriel's the head of our dynasty. So we have two choices here. We can unite the elves once more under the High Kings. This will most assuredly result in war with Linden, which means we would almost inevitably lose, you know, 3,500 versus 300. Or we shall take the fight to Sauron, which is what we're going to do. Maglor will rally what elves he can to his banner before taking the war to Sauron. Unlocks the rally, the army of the righteousness decisions, which determine the route you can take. So, this is very similar to the um, content for, you know, the Easter Egg Nation down here. Our Aduna, uh, whatever, these guys. Gimlkad. Um, slightly different for us. We're going the other way. So, we can march on Ost in Ed Hill. So, we can invade and take over what was this character's... Um, Nephew's land, Celebrimbor. We can go down here and we can take over this. Or, more importantly, is we can ditch it all and we can head to Edhelion, which is the elven colony in southern Gondor, which is what we're going to do. The heart of the enemy. There can be no delay. Every day, every month waited. Sauron grows in strength while our own ability wanes. We must strike him soon or lose the chance entirely. Such was my decision. The ancient haven of Edhelion sits abandoned in Gondor, with few men daring to touch its silent halls. It's a safe location, but close to Sauron and his dominions. We must rebuild it and use it as a mustering place of our strength. We shall plunge a dagger into his heart. And we get some nice Nildorian troops. And now we're going to go on a, a journey. Fresh start. So we have choices here. We can investigate people or not. Um, let's investigate. We have found somebody. We can help her to shore. She can join us on her our travels, or we can't hear them. <laughs> Come join us. Nature shall provide for us. Unfortunately, until we get stronger, we can't stop Galadriel from picking bad <laughs> uh, dynasty stuff. Thankfully, she's just picking the elven um, stuff. Also, I should point out, I did... Um, lore weighted decisions but not lore fixed or whatever the setting is so there's a very good chance that 
we could see a good Saruman. We could see various other things. But by and large, most things will happen normally. We'll win a battle. Helping other people. Is that the wind we hear? We don't really care. We know a cure to heal somebody. Wow, there's a lot of events here. This is a human. Okay. Who am I to interfere with higher matters? Delicacy. Can't believe we almost ate it. Oh my god. Endless amounts of events. Okay. The Finorian court. Okay. We finally arrived. Uh, we will arrange merchants. Let's get our banners and everything set up. Because we are now a king, and we are in southern Gondor. And we've got a couple levels. Thankfully, the game gives us some setup. We get level 2 forges, which, considering this guy's the son of the greatest elven classman, craftsman, Fanor, and uncle to the second greatest one, or so, or maybe third. Depends if you count uh, the Dark Elf as one. Um, and now we have Edhelion Reborn, so we get some nice money from that. Oh, sorry about the... They still haven't fixed the river background noise. I wonder if they'll ever manage it. So, now we have some options. We can go straight for Sauron. <laughs> Call in Denethor to help us. <laughs> Where we're heavily outnumbered. Um, speaking of which, Sauron's got stronger, so this will be interesting. Or, better yet, we can invade Umbar and try and take it over. Considering we have few troops, still, regardless, we are going to declare war immediately on Umbar. Uh, we'll skim a little bit off the top, so we actually have some cash. Expeditions against Umbar. Okay. We've got 2,300 troops to take Umbar, which, considering how strong the elf units are, should be no trouble. So let's just sail right down there and smash some Umbarians. Yes, it's pretty strange that we can just simply go down there and take over a whole country. It's actually quite insane. And as you can see, we're going to win. Um, we just got to try and take the least amount of casualties here, if we can. Of course, we're not really struggling to win these battles, so... As we've just absolutely annihilated that guy's army. Let's assign some people to these positions now that we actually have space. Take that. I think we should go straight for Umbar. Obviously, if we can't take Umbar, we can't win the war. But if we take Umbar, we're pretty much guaranteed to win the war. And, well, eventually we'll capture their ruler. <laughs> okay, 71%. More score. We've got to capture the others in this region, which shouldn't be... Oh, well, we're actually run out of uh, troops for the moment. Okay. Let's get some... Uh, might as well upgrade that, I guess. That way it'll reinforce a little. Wow, we're actually out of troops. Uh, that's a problem. Um... We can't afford any mercenaries. Uh, da, 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 maybe here? Seventy-one. Okay, well, we can at least siege this down. We only need a couple more sieges, but we got to be careful because his troops will reinforce, ours will not. Uh, going for martial perks. Uh, we only got improved defenses. That sucks. Um, I'm not finding the rest of his army anywhere, which is interesting. <sighs> Are we going to win this? Ah, uh, it's getting closer and closer every battle. Ah, oh, we've run out of troops again. Ah, oh, bother. I'm going to have to hire some mercenaries. The problem is I can't afford the mercenaries. Oh, I may have just screwed up hiring those guys when I have no cash. 
Um, Seventy-seven. Come on. Ninety-five. We need one more. One more. There we go. Hopefully the mercenaries don't betray me, though. Come on, game. Ninety-five again. What had, what changed? Um, can we get more from battles? No, we can't. We need another siege still. Ah, bother. Oh, that's not good. Um. They're, all their forts are... Oh, somebody recaptured this one. That's what happened. Come on. You can do this game. Got it. dun da da Okay, so we get choices to take. The fate of Umbar. With Umbar fallen, the question now turns to what to do with it. The simplest option would be to turn the land over to the Manish war captains to provide troops for the coming campaigns. As for the city of Umbar itself, what should we do? Some say the city should be sacked, too dangerous and corrupted. Other people say you can use the money from its corpse to strengthen our capital. So we can raise Umbar. We can spare Umbar, which I think is the better choice. We can appoint Gondorian war leaders, or we can hand out the titles manually. Hmm. Let's give the Gondorian governors this. So now we get a full retinue. Periodically, we'll get a full retinue of Gondorian marines. And we get a title. No king, but a master of war. Herota of the Eldar. Okay, so now we own Umbar. Just like that, we are a great nation. Okay, now we have choices of where we want to go, what we want to do. So, let's station some men-at-arms regiments in our capital, at least. Oh, that's odd. It's not letting me do that. Oh, disband. <laughs> helps if you remember I don't have... Helps if I remember I have an army standing around. Okay. So, our start has... We're off to a good start. So, now we have choices. We can strike against the Haradrim. Shadow Realm CB against the Haradwith which would basically be these guys. Um, if we were to attack them, there is a decent chance Sauron would defend them. So we're probably not going to go straight for that. What else we got? We could go straight for Sauron, which is not a good idea. But we also need to make sure that if Denethor gets into trouble, we help him. He doesn't like us enough. Apparently he's at war. Ah, oh, Wildman. So, let's delay for a few more minutes at least. And rebuild our income. Thankfully, our troop, our lords down here should remain mostly loyal. Especially if we stick some of them on the council. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, so if we wanted to, I could try and get control of Umbar, which I might do, given time. Uh, convert it over. Paying a ransom, always nice. These guys are still around. Technically, we can go conquer them. I don't feel the need to at the moment. We've got bigger issues. Namely, how are, the heck are we going to deal with Sauron? Or more importantly, how are we going to deal with Sauron when we invade um, the Harad with? But at least we're getting free armies. Unfortunately, the new stuff we're getting is not as strong as the stuff we've lost. So that is slightly annoying. Um, we don't even have enough to do Holy Wars. Okay, we've got another Ransom. That's always a nice start. We need some piety, I guess, so we can actually do some of these Holy Wars. Also, I should really Ransom all the people I captured. Uh, we can negotiate an alliance with Galadriel, because there's almost no way in the world Galadriel and Cannon would ever dare ally um, Maglar. Although, to be fair, he's probably one of the better of the Fenorians to still be alive. Um, Paranther, 
Caranther in particular would be problematic, let alone um, Madrahos. He might be uh, a little bit more contentious as the leader of the Fenorians. Okay, Fall of Gondolin. Um, let's go Holy Order. Holy Warrior. Ugh, not Holy Order. Okay, we got some cash. That's going to expire. Good thing those mercenaries didn't betray me. Um, that would have been a disaster. Uh, let's get some Noldor Swordsmen if we can get the money. In the meantime, I guess we wait a minute. The periodic income of our uh, subjects giving us troops really should help us a lot. Of course, that is... They're forming factions, but... That's the way it goes. Thankfully, it's mostly just basic rebels. 25 years in debt? Because <laughs> he makes so little money. One event was enough to plunge him into endless debt. That's kind of amusing, actually. Okay, we're almost to the next level. We've got our first income building here. Let's throw down another one. I really want to get that higher men at arms, but right now we need the uh, other stuff. Also, very important thing that was added in one of the more recent patch, Maglar now starts with the trait of Poet. I'm glad to see the uh, developers remembered that Maglar um, would be a great Poet. It's too bad there isn't a trait there. Anyhow, we've got some Rebels. This should be a fairly easy one. As in, they also just charged into my troops, which is kind of hilariously sad. Now we can ransom him for 100 something gold. So, let's do that. Let's get a higher level men at arms. Some Noldor swordsmen, because who doesn't love unbelievably powerful units? We'll worry about cavalry later. Only get 25 of them. Okay. He is attacking Theoden, and he is currently winning. Can I help Theoden? Offer to join war against Sauron. Well, there's one of Sauron's armies. There's another of Sauron's armies. There's the allied armies to the north. Hmm. It's going to be slightly problematic. We don't have enough troops to to absolutely change the course of the war. After all, my men-at-arms are 128 units. Suppose I could attempt to connect them to the allied armies to the north. Hey, on the other hand, Gondor and Rohan are winning. I thought they were losing, but that is good news. Oh, someone just attacked me. Let's attach this to the Gondorian army, and then I will deal with those rebels with my main army. Or rather, my free main army. Still should be strong enough to smash some rebels. There we go. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Okay, and we're going to ransom him for 25 gold, which could create more trouble in the long run, but that's the way it goes. The Gondorians are finally marching south. We're not leading the army, thankfully, so we don't have to worry about dying. Ah, yes, royal court. Leech is paying for my lands. Take advantage of his generosity. Hold court. Let's work this out. Steward can offer you advice. My job here is done. No bother. We're below our expected levels. Hmm. 
Well, we'll up it a little bit for now. Really, I need some artifacts to get it higher. There, there, there goes my troops making a difference. If we look at it, I suspect I killed quite a few. 66, 65, lost nothing. It's a good aid to the Sauron, uh, anti-Sauron armies. Ah, new martial perk, and we can get armor. Um, sure. Trust your judgment. We want... Bellum Justum. That'll help. How long does this last? Ten more years. Okay. Uh, no. A little bit more income here. We now have enough piety, we could do other things. It'd be nice if my vassals tried to expand a little, though. Oh, maybe they did a little bit. Hard to tell. Get rid of the flush carpet. No murdering happening here today. And... We'll have to upgrade to be able to do that. Um, hunting ground, I guess, makes a little bit more money. And now we go into debt, of course. Ugh. I can't give you any more gold. We got really good armor, including retreat modifiers, which is always nice. Oh, and I forgot he had a weapon. There we go. Eh, he's got 58 combat. I think that's pretty good. Let's see what everyone else has. Elrond, 56. Theoden, 12. Galadriel, 51. So yeah, I think Magler's the strongest now that we've equipped his weapon. Throw out the bandits. We can employ both strategies. There we go. How's the war going? The Gondorians are not fighting directly, which is actually kind of smart. I just hope Theoden or somebody doesn't get captured and die. Or uh, get captured and the war ends. Happens far too often for my liking. Uh, Sauron captured my troops. Not good. They just... Oh, they just lost the war, probably, my allies. Oh, bother. Stupid idiots. They had in charged in on his own. Lost. He's going to charge in again and lose again, I'm guessing. Oh, how annoying. Well, I've done what I can. There's not much more I can do to help them at the moment. Got to focus on my own... My own existence. Theoden, what are you doing? Suiciding into Sauronian armies. Oh, on the other hand, Gondor won a war against Wildmen, I guess. Oh, someone declared war on them. Huh. Well, on the other hand, Sauron's troops are dying from attrition. The problem is Theoden is... I don't even know what he's doing. Far, far too reckless. Oh, Gondor, you idiots. Okay. Well, there he's busy up there. I can't do anything about that at the moment. Um... Let's get some archers on the fields. More populous. Thankfully, the Gondorians should be converting the lands slowly, and they are. Theoden keeps raising his armies. 
Oh my god, they had in. Talk about suiciding into superior numbers. If he hadn't been suiciding, the good factions would have easily won this war by now. Talk about pathetic. Oh, and Denethor's fighting a different war rather than the war to save, you know, Rohan completely. Gosh, how stupid. Um, we're famous, you're not. 78. Maybe they'll win through time? I don't have high confidence. This is nothing I can do at the moment. You guys, think about it. There's 200... There's 21,000 troops there and you barely have 10. Reward to reclaim Elven homelands. Oh, she's attacking Dul Guldur. Okay. I doubt she's going to need my help, but... That would be a big win if she takes Dul Guldur out. Oh, dumb allies again. You know what? I think I'm just going to ignore what they're up to. If if they had in falls, they had in falls. Not, not I can do about it. And we still don't... Oh, we're not zealous enough to declare holy wars. Okay, Theoden survived, so that's great. Galadriel is winning versus Dul Guldur. The song singers that the Elder have really help with these forts. I don't think she needs my troops. I mean, I could come help her, but she seems to be doing fine. I just don't want the modifier where are your troops to, or the event to fire, if I can help. Stop marching off the citadel. I'm actually kind of impressed that Theoden and Denethor managed to hold off Sauron, though. Stop marching off the... Oh, I guess they're marching off the fortress so they don't trigger the... Um, uh, the, uh, the advantage there. So I need to send troops to help Galadriel. Fair enough. Not really what I want to do, but... Nonetheless, I have been called... And the Fenorians, for one, well, actually, the Fenorians always honor their oaths. That's part of the problem. <laughs> we will honor our oath and go help Galadriel. Of course, by the time my army gets there, it's going to be sadly depleted. Come on. Where is my army? Miles away, apparently. Um... We'll take a cat. We don't need a weapon. We've got a better weapon than anything someone could create. Let's quick hold court. Throw her out. Legendary siege. All burning by the risks of war. Okay, whatever. <sighs> oh, good. Elijah won. Awesome. Perfect. That is... Now, oh, Sauron's demanding a ransom to release our people. Well, in canon, you wouldn't expect that to happen, I have to say. Okay, Sauron is still very strong. Any chance we can get a defensive alliance? No. I really want to attack this guy. Well, this just unlocks the Shadow Realm CB. So I don't necessarily have to target him, right? Or do I? Shadow Realm. Anyone else I can go after? Shadow Realm. Okay, I can take out this guy, which is worth doing because he's weak. Wait. Huh? Why do I have... 
Oh. Ow. Ow. The, uh... This is an event. I get troops through events as I move forward, I guess. That's a little stupid. Considering I don't think I can save that army, but... We get reinforcements. Which is kind of cool, actually. It's going to allow me to keep pursuing these wars, even though I'm outnumbered by Sauron. Each weapon effectiveness up. Oh, um. Victory with my main army. All to right there. I wonder if I get to keep these troops after the war, because this is really helpful. Now, obviously, he's going to siege that. We'll smash his army. What's my capital doing? Oh, I got more troops up here. I have to kind of scour the map to see if I've got random troops standing around. Okay. Should be quick victory from now on. Uh, it's just a cat. Don't worry about it. Okay, we flipped that to a positive face. Or a at least neutral face, I guess. What? That's weird. Huh. Maybe with just shattering the realm is enough, because now Gondor can stroll in. Weird. Oh, Gondor's under attack by Sauron. Let's help him. Um, Mordor Invasion, the Stewardship of Gondor. We don't have a lot of choice here. If Sauron falls, or if Gondor falls, we're doomed, so... This time we'll send a much larger force to help. This is really when I'd like to be able to get some type of defensive alliance with Gondor. Okay. Attached to the Gondor army. Oh, well, hey, guess what? One advantage of me being in the army is now we can siege Minas I Morgul Minas Isil down. The problem is, what is Gondor going to lose in the meantime? The answer is... far too much. Far too much. Oh, idiots, you don't have to invade the south, you need to invade the north. Where'd they go? Oh, they went all the way down there. Speaking of which, did I get to keep those men arm those armies of men? Yes, I did. Okay, so long as I keep preserving them, I get more troops each war, which is rather cool. Gondor, you really need to do something. Ay ay ay. I can't wait till I can leave, lead the uh, wars rather than letting Gondor fail at them. Completely incompetent. The worst part is my troops are trying to follow theirs and they're running all over the map. And if they keep going this way, they're going to run into the Sauron armies.
Gosh, how do I? No, get on. I can't traverse that. I can't go north. I've got to leave the battle because I can't help Gondor. Okay, embark. Sail past them. No, sail past them. No, sail past them, game. Nope, can't sail up the river. Gondor can, but I struggle to. And there's Gondor losing a, the war, probably. There's no point in me marching in at this point, so... And now Gondor's on the other side of the river again. Ay, ay, ay. Gondor. Rohan, what the heck are you doing? You morons. Now that I caught up to them again, once again, there. Okay, you can sneak by. Okay, let's try sneaking by. We'll attach to the large Gondorian army. Hopefully this time they won't immediately get in a ship and sail away. They're going to lose their capital, though. Gosh, that's so annoying to watch. Let's get some more troops, I guess. Okay. You've taken their lands. They've taken your capital. They're coming for your head. Please do something. Don't siege. Retake your capital. Gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one time when I want them to do battle, they're not doing battle. Okay, well, let's call it here. And we'll continue this pain and suffering of watching AIs fail a war next time. Bye for now.